Hi, my name is Ellie. This is Planning and Finances. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is one of my most requested questions that I get asked all the time and it is how do I start cash using the cash envelope system? So I got a message from a follower on Instagram the other day. I'll leave it up here. And literally this person was just saying, please help me. I've tried the system. I'm not getting the hang of it. Can you please help me on how to get started? So today's video is basically going to be a simple guide to starting cash envelopes. So we are going to take it from basics and go from the start so that you can be successful. Because starting a budget and starting cash envelopes for the first time isn't easy. And it can take a few months to get into your groove and to get the hang of things. So we're going to start off simple and we're going to build from that. I find sometimes people start and they're like, oh my God, I want to do it all. And they've got envelopes for absolutely everything, everything. And then they become overwhelmed by it. So we're going to go right back. We're going to pair it right back. And we are going to start at the very start at the basics and we're going to start with just I'd say four envelopes maybe six um but I'll set you up that you can look at it and say what's manageable for me okay just as I mentioned there a lot of people struggle in their first few months of budgeting and I have found people tell me I failed I give up the cash envelope system is just not for me um and I think that comes from like that going in too hard are not realistic so to start off I'm just going to give one example before I get into the whole thing you need to be realistic with yourself and with your own spending that is the only way the cash envelope system is going to work so for an example you say okay I'm starting the cash envelope system and I'm going to put a hundred euro into my grocery envelope you're going that's what I'm going to spend this week on groceries but what if you really spend 180 euro on groceries? You know, so in your cash envelope, you need to put in 180 euro, whether that's what you want to spend or what you would like to spend. That is the reality of what you do actually spend. Most people would think I spend about 90 euro uh, on the big shop and an extra tenner for like milk or bread or whatever here and there. I'll put in another tenner and realistically you might spend 90 euro on your big shop but then you could go and do a little shop and spend another 30 quid you could go to the local shop and spend another 10 euro because usually you'll pick up bread and milk and you'll pick up a snack you'll pick up a tree for the child you'll pick up something else and it all adds up really quickly you know and usually that's where people find the shocker is realizing they really spend a lot more than they actually do so for the first week two maybe three weeks of cash stuffing for things like groceries i would definitely overestimate how much i want to spend and put that money in there because a lot of people fail when they realize i've put 100 euro in for food I've no more money left in my envelope. I have to use my card in any way. Now it's all kind of messed up because I don't really have money in my bank account and it gets messy. So this is what I would suggest is fill your cash envelopes to what you are actually spending right now. Be realistic. And then down the line, this is when you can look at your budget and look and see where you can make savings. But for now, for the cash envelopes to work, you need to put in there what you are actually going to spend. So that you've got your 180 euro in your food shop. When you go and you spend your 90 euro in your, in your big shop in the supermarket, that's gone. Your 90 euro is gone at your cash envelope. But when you go and do maybe a midweek shop, 30 euro you've got that 30 euro there if you go to get milk bread and butter you've got that money there if you've got money over at the end of the week excellent that is brilliant but it's keeping you aware to how much you are spending and that's amazing because when you use your card you tap you tap you tap and you realistically don't have a clue what you're spending on food so with that said all my ramblings <laughs> Um, let's get into a basic setup uh, for cash envelopes. So here we are and this is how we are going to set up our simple 
budget and the different categories and areas of cash envelopes that you can have. So on one side, you are going to have your expenses. And then on the other side, you're going to have your savings. These are the main areas of cash envelopes that you're going to come across. And these are also broken down into different categories. So over here in expenses, you're going to have your bills. And then you're going to have your variable expenses. If my spelling is wrong, please forgive me. That is not my strong suit. Um, never has been, never will be. So you know what I mean. So on the savings side, we're going to have short term savings. And then you're going to have long term. OK, now for starting off with cash envelopes. I would suggest leaving your bills in the bank account for now. So these are most likely going to be direct debits. You're going to have your electric, a gas, you're going to have like rent or your mortgage, you know, anything like that. Anything for the start that is a direct debit, I would leave it there. To make that easier for you, if you'd like, I would set up a bills account and transfer your money into the bills account and have all the money, all your bills coming out of one account. So with expenses, with variable, I would start off. The normal one where people tend to overspend in is the groceries. Another one that people could start with would be petrol. I say petrol, it could be fuel. It could be uh, diesel and um, this is for your car your transport uh, it could even be bus fare anything that you would use regularly and another one people tend to have a problem in their budget with is the good old eating out so this can really help gain control of how much you are spending out in restaurants or fast food or anything like that so I would start with just three envelopes and still use my bank account for everything else, but budget accordingly for these three envelopes. You know, if you like, if you spend a lot on eating now, make sure you fill this envelope um, and same with groceries. Now, if you're trying to cut down your eating now and you're saying there is a budget, there is a limit, well then put that amount in here and you know be disciplined with yourself and say okay when that money's gone it's gone this is how the cash envelope system works and this is how it's going to work for you it's not a miraculous thing it's not going to you know make money appear but it will help you and you also have to put in the effort as well then on your side so then over here we're going to have savings and in short term the most common envelopes that are bought from my shop would be birthdays, Christmas, and holidays. And then long-term savings could be your emergency fund. A house deposit. like a new car, anything that's basically longer than a year. Short term, we usually keep to less than one year. And then long term is usually more than one year. One year, years. Um, so birthdays, so this can help keep you on budget but you can say, okay, I know what birthdays are coming up and I need to put money aside for them. 
Christmas, we know it's coming guys. We know every single year it's coming. And by having this envelope, it reminds you every month to put a little bit into it and let it build. And then it also helps you if like, it could be August and you see a gift that's perfect for somebody in your family for Christmas, you have the money in your envelope and you can take it out and you can buy it there and then. This, this is what's brilliant about the envelopes. And then holidays, you know, you know how much you need and you can build it up. That's the one thing I love about the cash envelopes and I think it's so encouraging. It keeps you motivated, it keeps you going. It's seeing the money, build them. Now you've decided what categories you're gonna have as cash envelopes. So for the example, I'm going to use grocery, eating out, birthdays, Christmas, holidays and the emergency fund so you would do up your budget i'll leave a link here to um a video it's let's start a budget and that'll show you the basics of how to start a budget and once you have done that and you know how much you want to put into these envelopes you'll go to the bank or the atm and withdraw your money so when you come home then you are going to stuff the amounts into those envelopes so i have some envelopes done up here so i'm just going to show you it is very basic, very simple. If you like, you could also add tracker cards to them. I would suggest this as it shows you like what's going on. So say we've done our budget and we've decided, right, that we're going to put the 180 that we talked about into groceries. So I have some money here that I'm after taking out and I'm going to put 180 in. So I'm going to take 50, 150, 20 and 10. So for the rest of the month then, when we go to the shop, when we buy out and to do a food or that, we're going to use the money from this envelope alone. Then we will have eating out. We like eating out, so we're going to give ourselves 100 euro. We can put that into eating out. And like that, if we go out <clears throat> and we go to a nice restaurant, and it costs 100 euro, well then that money's gone. <laughs> and we have to wait till we stuff this envelope again to go out again uh, and eat out the next month. So then holidays. Um, this could be a slow burn. We're saving up for something next year and we're just going to put in 40 euro. So 20, 40. Now if you're booking your holiday online then, what I would do is I would keep the money in here and when it comes time to book in the holiday, I would go back to the bank and deposit the money into the bank account then. Then I have birthdays, so I'm going to give birthdays 20 euro. And then I have Christmas, so I'm going to give Christmas 20 euro as well. We save all year round for Christmas. So adding a little bit on each payday really helps that money build up. So we have it and then emergency fund this is something that we're concentrating on we really want to build up to about a thousand euro so this month we are putting in 40 euro and there we have it so then we will keep these in a cash envelope binder keep them all nicely together and then put them in a safe place and if I was going out or if I knew I was going out to eat I'd remove the envelope from my binder and take this with me I wouldn't carry all my cash envelopes around with me the whole time that's why I use my mini wallet and I keep the smaller ones in that and there you have it so I'm going to show you my cash envelopes now so you can see how you might use yours on a regular basis. I'm somebody who has been using them for a lot of years now. So I will show you mine. So to start with, this is a mini cash envelope binder. This is my everyday binder. This is what comes in my purse with me, in my bag, shall I say. So I'm going to open it up. Actually, also, hang on one second, I've got my bank cards. I'm just gonna. So, here I have my personal money. 
And then I also keep fun money in here. The girls' fun money has been uh, pretty much spent, but we're not going out anywhere today. Clothes, if I am going to buy clothes, I'll transfer it from my bigger binder into this one. And I'll know then this is my budget on how much I can spend on clothes. School, this is for back to school costs for my girls. So like that, I'll transfer money into this from my larger binder if I'm going out and about. And unexpected costs. This is a new envelope of mine and I'm absolutely loving it. So I did buy something the other day that was from home maintenance and I didn't have money from my home maintenance with me. So I used money from this envelope and then when I got home, I replaced it. So this has been so helpful. And then this is my bigger binder. This is where I have um, more of my sinking funds and that are in here. So what I keep in here is school. I also have my gift cards and stuff in here. It reminds me to use them. I have school. This is back to school. And I also keep trackers. So this helps me keep an eye on what I'm spending. And it also helps me look back on previous years and see how much do I need for next year. So as you see, I've kept last year's in here as well so anytime I put money in I put money in and the amount and then when I spend money you can see I log it here and I take it off my balance so how much I have in my school envelope should be 412 euro now that's because school end of year is coming up and this is how much I need to buy supplies for next year like by the end of August I'd say this envelope will be empty and that's okay. That That's what it's meant for. That's what we've been putting the money in here for. So then this is fun money. This is the girls money. So they have a bit of money left here, but same again. I also have the tracker card here. Another one that I use an envelope for is beauty. Um, this envelope is empty at the moment because the girls just got their hair cut. So for like beauty is an envelope that I have regularly now. So when I started off, I wouldn't have had a beauty envelope. I would have I had food, um, and I had rent, and I had electric. They were my three envelopes. That's what I started with. So as time has gone on, I used beauty. So I put a bit of money in here every month. Actually, I put fifteen euro in here every month, and this does for the haircuts for my girls. If beauty is something that you're passionate about, something that you like, if you love makeup and that, make one of these envelopes an envelope for you. That's the thing about the cash envelopes. It is personalizing it completely for you. So next one is clothes. So this is for all of us. If I'm going out and I'm going to be going shopping, I'm going to be buying some clothes for us. I will take the money out of this envelope and I will transfer it into the little envelope that I have in here. And I will take it out with me. I don't want to take my whole binder out with me in my bag. That would be a lot of money to carry around. And we want to stay safe. Next is gifts. So as you can see here, there's on the tracker card, money in, money out, money in, money out. So we pretty much have birthdays every month in my house. So that's it. The money goes in, the money goes out. Then I have house maintenance. This is a big one for me. Um... I used to always keep my house maintenance sinking fund in the bank account but then I found if I called somebody out to unblock my drain or something they wanted cash so I started having a house maintenance envelope here and that's what this is for um also I've been buying some stuff for the garden I include the garden in the house maintenance so we've been buying some seeds and that and we might have some videos coming up on what me and the girls are going to be doing with the garden envelope soon and also we're getting a lot of house reno done at the moment as well, guys. So if you check out my channel, there's a bit of everything there. Girls activities. So this is for my girls dancing. The girl, well, one of them now is doing dancing. The other one has quit. So I have an envelope for that. And then I have an envelope for summer camp. So I find this one great. Uh, this one's nearly full. We're at 550 now. I need 600 euro for summer camp for the girls. And I've been saving this since last year. So since May, I think last year, when did I start? May, yeah, the 5th of 20, no, the 6th, sorry, June. The 6th of 2022, I started this and it makes saving up so much easier. That money is there now. It won't be touched. The only thing it will be used for is summer camps. So like some people might find it hard that there is an envelope sitting here with 550 euro 
in it but when you get used to the cash envelope system you honestly don't want to touch this envelope you don't want to spend the money so and that will stay there until summer camps and then this is a savings challenge I'm doing at the back now which I actually to get some money up for my renos and so that's it guys that is my cash envelopes one thing I forgot to mention was when I cash stuff so kind of important um but I would cash stuff as per paycheck so if you're paid weekly I'd cash stuff weekly and if it's monthly I would cash stuff monthly also just to mention any products that you've seen in this video the envelopes the binders anything like that the tracker cards they are all available in my Etsy shop which I will link below well if you've gotten to this point of the video thank you so much guys for watching the whole way through and I hope that this was helpful in helping you set up the cash envelope system so if you have any questions leave them below if there is areas that you find tricky or things that you're not getting leave me a question below and I get back to absolutely everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one take care